Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to our shop. Today we're going to discuss how sequencers work. Below me are several common types of sequencers. What a sequencer is, is a series of switches. The bottom terminals are 24 volts. They turn on a switch and these, all these switches come on in sequential order, hence the name sequencer. If you have an electric furnace, you probably have one of these sequencers in it or you have a contactor or a series of these contactors but today we're just talking about sequencers and well, today we want to show you just how a sequencer works because the object of a sequencer is to turn on the heating elements in your furnace and the blower motor and other things in staged order if they went all on at the same time you'd probably blow a fuse or a breaker so it's got to come on in sequential order so what we're going to do is hook it hook a sequencer into our little tester here just to show you how they work um, in our tester we have a motor which acts as a blower motor for your furnace each light will be a heating element so pretend those are heating elements and we've got our power supply we have our transformer. What the transformer does is it reduces the 120 volts to 24 volts. And then you have your thermostat. Okay. It's not rocket science to hook wires to a sequencer. Well, let's take a look at the numbers here. Look at the numbers on this one. This one has an F1 and an F2. That's where your blower motor hooks up to followed by M3, M4, M5, M6. Basically you just hook your elements across from each other to, to the numbers. And let's look at this one. This one doesn't have the F, but the M1 and M2 act the same as an F1 and F2. It just They just use M's and leave out the F's. Okay, we take our sequencer, we put it here. Now we know the F1 and F2 is our motor, so we find our motor lead, and we hook it to one side. And then we come from our power box, and we just take any power lead and hook it to the other side. You always wanna make sure those wires are opposite of each other. Okay, we take our first element, And we hook it down to the next switch. See, this, this sequencer has two switches on it. Two switches there and one switch there. We take another just a black power lead from our power box. Hook it to the other side. And for our, our next element, we'll hook that one to this switch. Take another black power lead. Hook it to the opposite side. And we could hook the last element to this here or over here. We're going to hook it over here. So we hook an element to one side of the sequencer. And then grab a, a black lead from our power side. Hook it to the other. Does it matter if this wire is here and this wire is on this side? It doesn't matter. All these are our switches. Okay. Now... Sequencers are operated by 24 volts, and that's the bottom one. On this one, if you can zoom in, we have a bar that's welded here that connects all the 24 volt terminals. Versus this one, there is no bar, so you'd want to put a jumper in there. Or consult the wiring diagram of your furnace. So we take our 24 volts from our transformer, we hook one on one side, doesn't matter which terminal on this side as long as it's on this side. And then the other 24 volt goes through our thermostat and then comes out of our thermostat and then we hook it to the bottom of the other side of the sequencer. Okay, our sequencer is all hooked up for testing. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, 
we got to plug it in. We got power coming to it. Let's turn on our thermostat. Now there's going to be always a slight delay before the first switch kicks in. Okay. You notice in this case, one element in the blower motor came on. And that's good. When this blower's running, it's not running completely cold air. It's going to run a little heat off of this element. And then we're going to see the next element come on. There we go. Element number two is on. And then we're going to watch the third element come on. A lot of sequences will take almost up to two minutes for everything to come on and that's typical don't get excited if it's if it seems like it's too long okay on a typical furnace this furnace has three heating elements they're all running and your blower motors running and when the room gets up to temperature we'll just shut it off but when it gets up to temperature your thermostat will click off and then your sequencer will do everything in reverse. In a few seconds, this will come off, and then this next element will shut down. And then in a moment, the last element in the blower motor will shut off. And they're up. And that's how a sequencer runs.